Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I bring you a message. I bring you this teaching from Akivishiri by the Spirit of the Living God from Akivishiri. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I urge you to listen, and as you listen, may the healing virtue begin to flow. May Jesus, the Anointed One, who went about to do good, to heal all that were oppressed of the devil, to heal, to heal every sickness and disease, be available for you today in the supreme and matchless name of Jesus. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father Lord, I thank you for the privilege of today. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. For being chosen, for being for being chosen to share this teaching, to share this message of your healing power to your people in the supreme and matchless name of Jesus. And I decree and declare that the healing virtue of Jesus will flow just as Jesus taught, and as he taught, healings were going on. As he taught, diverse healings were going on. Diverse healings were going on. As anyone listening, as everyone listening or listen, will listen or listening to this message, listening to this sermon, may the healing virtue flow for you, for them in the name of Jesus. And may they be completely healed from all their sicknesses and disease in Jesus' mighty, matchless name. Amen and amen. I bring you. This teaching that I've titled by the Spirit of the Living God, Healing Ministry of Jesus. The Healing Ministry of Jesus. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Acts, Acts 10 38. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. And Jesus went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him praise be the name of the lord hallelujah listen healing was the central focus of jesus ministry healing was the central focus of jesus ministry because everywhere jesus gathered to speak everywhere he taught there was healing virtue released there was some kind of healing that took place every time he gathered people every time people followed him every time anyone touched him they were all healed. Healing was the central focus of Jesus' ministry, which brought life to every dead thing, which brought healing, which brought um, eyes to the blind, legs to the lame, which even rose the dead back to life. God desires us to be saved, and healing is God's tangible. Healing is God's tangible miracle in convincing us of his existence and realness. He said, this sign shall follow them that believe. That is what he said. The healing miracle of Jesus was to show, was to convince us that I, God, I do exist and I am real. Praise be the name of the Lord. So we must know that if Jesus makes you free, when Jesus makes you free, you are indeed free indeed. That is seen in the book of John 8, 36. If Jesus makes you free, the Son of Man makes you free, you are free indeed. In the book of Galatians 5, 1, he said, 
It was so we can be free that Christ set us free complete, completely. That is why everywhere he went, everywhere he went, he was doing good. And those that he set free, they were completely free. We never read any account in the Bible that whom God has said, whom Jesus set free, whom he healed, came back and said no. They were not healed. And Bishop Oedek always said this. He said, if a mother or a father is asked that, ask, um, that, that their child is ill, suffering from any sickness or disease, and they were asked, if you are a mother or a father and you are asked, when do you want your child to be made old? What would you say? When do you want your child to be made old? What would you say? You would say, you wouldn't say, I don't want my child to be made old now. I want my child to be made old next week. You will say, I want my child to be made old now. That is the ministry of Jesus. He was anointed to do good. And as I said, healing was the central focus of just Jesus' ministry. God's, this, God desire us to be saved. And healing is God's tangible existence and realness to man. Because he knows that they won't believe. We won't believe until we see signs. He knows that we will not believe until we see signs. The book of John 5.19. John 5.19 says, I can do nothing of myself, but what I see my father do. For whatever my father do, I do also. I can do nothing of myself, but what I see my father do. For whatever my father do, I do also. And he was given that he was anointed to do good. And immediately when he was anointed, the dove came, came on him and said, This is my beloved son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he took off from then to do the ministry of his father. To heal, to set free, to break every yoke. In the book of, um, um, of John 6, 38, he said, Jesus came to do the will of the Father. God backed him up with the Holy Ghost and with power. Jesus came to do the will of his Father. And God backed him up with the Holy Ghost and with power. Because everywhere he went, there was signs, there was signs, there was miracle following. I need you to pay attention because the healing virtue is flowing right now. To everyone oppressed of the devil, to everyone sick in their bodies. Because as Jesus taught, there was healing. As he taught, there was healing. As he taught, every bounds of wickedness was set loose. Jesus' healing ministry was the center, center of his message of love and salvation of souls. As our anchor scripture I read said, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power, and he went about to do good. He went about from them to do good. Look at the book of Matthew, Matthew 8, 16 to 17. He said, when evening came, they brought to him many who were under the powers of demon. And he cast out the evil spirit with a word. Note the word. He cast out the evil spirit with a word. And restored to health all who were sick. All who were sick. Jesus was exhibiting the authority as Messiah. He was exhibiting the authority as the one who has been anointed to do good. As the one who has been anointed to break every bounds of wickedness. As the one who has been anointed to set free all that were sick and suffering from any sickness. People were brought to him and he never turned any back. He never turned any back. He never asked them to bring the, the, the persons tomorrow. He healed every, every one. He was exhibiting his authority as Messiah. 
Therefore, by the spirit of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ, I exhibit the authority given unto me that every sickness, every disease be gone in the name of Jesus. As you believe it, you receive your healing. You see, the scripture says, so that he fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He himself took our infirmity. He took upon himself our infirmity and carried away our diseases. So everything that Jesus did was already prophesied, was already set to happen. And the word of God does not go back to him void. He's not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should repent. Everything he says and every of his promises comes to pass. Jesus' ministry was to validate his relationship with the Father. Jesus' ministry of healing, of deliverance, was to validate his relationship with the Father. Because he said, I said, in John 5, 19, he said, I can do nothing of myself, but what I see my father do, I do. For whatsoever my father do, I also do. So his ministry was to validate his relationship with the father. That was why he was anointed. Luke 4, 18. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has appointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to announce release, pardon, forgiveness to the captive and recovery of eyes to the blind. To set free those who are oppressed, downtrodden, bruised, crushed by tragedy. That is his ministry. And he's still in the business of setting captives free till today. He's still in the ministry of bringing good news to the poor till today. He's still anointed to break yokes. He's still anointed to set you free from every sickness, every disease that is holding you bound. In the name of Jesus. Healing was Jesus' central assignment. Healing was Jesus' central assignment because healing is children's bread. And like I said, God knows that we won't believe until we see sign. That is why he said these signs will follow them that believe in my name. In my name. In my name they shall break yokes. In my name, they shall raise the dead. And when Jesus was living, he said, greater works than this shall you do, all those that believe in me. So he has given us a mandate to break every shackle of sickness, to break every shackle of disease upon the lives of God's children. Because healing is children's bread. Jesus was anointed to preach. And wherever he preached, he healed. Do you notice? In the New Testament, wherever people gathered, wherever Jesus taught, there was healing that took place. He didn't even have to command the sickness to go. But everywhere people gathered, everywhere he taught, there was healing. Healing took place. Jesus was anointed to preach, and wherever he preached, he healed. There was healing virtue that was released because it's, it's always healing is part of him. The woman with the issue of blood said, If I could but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made completely whole. Healing is everything about Jesus. Everything about Jesus speaks healing. Everything about Jesus speaks deliverance. Everything about Jesus speaks breaking of yokes. 
everything about Jesus. Everything about Jesus. The anointing to, to preach the good news and to heal goes hand in hand. With Jesus, the anointing to preach the good news and to heal went hand in hand. It goes hand in hand. That was why everywhere he spoke the gospel, everywhere he taught, there was healing. So the anointing to teach, the anointing to preach the gospel, and the anointing to heal went hand in hand for Jesus. Jesus was a total, total package when it comes to healing. Because it's his father's son. He's doing his father's bidding. Because healing, miracles, signs and wonders was to show the real existence of God. How real God is. Because we wouldn't believe we would, if we do not see the signs. Praise be the name of the Lord. Healing, teaching, teaching and healing went hand in hand with Jesus. There was no place he gathered to talk. There was no place he gathered people. There was no place he preached the gospel that the healing virtue was not released. The tangibility of God's realness to his children. The tangibility of God's realness to his children. The tangibility of God's realness to his children. Let your faith arise within you right now. Let your faith arise within you right now. Because the hidden virtue of Jesus is flowing. The hidden virtue of Jesus is flowing. Let your spirit open to receive the healing that you desire. Because Jesus, 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 Jesus is passing through. The reason to it, anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary. God is here. God is here to heal you. The healing virtue of Jesus is flowing right now. The healing virtue of Jesus is flowing right now. Because Jesus was anointed to do good. And immediately the anointing fell on him. He went about to heal the sick. To raise the dead. To heal all that were oppressed of the devil. Because God was with him. Because he was doing the bid of the Father. Receive your healing right now. In the supreme and matchless name of Jesus. Receive your Eden right now. In the supreme and matchless name of Jesus. Let's look at the book of Matthew. Matthew 9, 35. Jesus went through all the cities and villages in Galilee. Teaching in their synagogues. That is their churches. And proclaiming and healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness. Listen to this. His word and his work reflecting his Messiah. He went to the cities. He went to their churches proclaiming the good news of the gospel of the kingdom of God. And healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness. Like I told you, the teaching of good, good news. The good news and healing went hand in hand with Jesus. Proofs were following the word. <laughs> Proofs were following the word. And I decree and I declare that the proofs of the healing ministry of Jesus will follow the word you are hearing today to quicken your mortal bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. The healer himself, seated among the people, 
preaching the gospel and healing. The word, the word, the word, healing. The word, the word of God carries the healing virtue. The word of God carries healing power. The healing virtue of Jesus is flowing right now. And I decree and declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Matthew 12, 28, truly, healing is a proof that the kingdom of God has come upon us. It's a proof. I said earlier, at the beginning of this teaching, I said healing was the central focus of Jesus' ministry, which brought life to everything dead. I said God's desire us. God desires us to be saved. And healing is God's tangible miracle in convincing men of God's existence and realness. Because he knows they won't believe except the sea signs. Matthew 12, 28 says, truly healing is a proof that the kingdom of God is upon us. Truly, healing is a proof that those downtrodden, bruised, crushed by tragedy are remembered. They are set free because God has come upon us. <laughs> and he said in his word Luke 10 1 9 19 he said he has sent us out to preach the gospel and what does the gospel do the gospel heals the gospel heals the gospel heals the downtrodden he heals the bruised the gospel heals Every sickness and every disease. Mark 16, 17 to 18. He said, These signs will accompany those who have believed. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up <laughs> serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will get well. I decree, I decree by the anointing of Jesus upon my life. And as it is written in the book of Mark 16, 17 to 18. The healing virtue of Jesus flows to anywhere you are listening to the sermon from. You are listening to the sermon, the healing ministry of Jesus. The power of God is upon you to heal you. To heal you, to heal you in the supreme and matchless name of Jesus. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed in Jesus' mighty, matchless name. Remember, he said the signs will follow them that believe. Do you believe that you are healed? Do you believe that Jesus was anointed? To heal you? Do you believe that Jesus was anointed with Holy Ghost and with power? And your healing is right with him? <laughs> oh, this sign shall follow them that believe. That is what it said. The sign of your healing. The sign of your breakthrough. The sign of every yoke broken will follow them that believe in the supreme and matchless name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Congratulations on your healing. Congratulations on your healing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Congratulations on your healing. The healing virtue is flowing. 
The healing virtue is flowing. The healing virtue is flowing. Take your healing. Take your healing. Healing is children's bread. Take your healing. Take your healing. Take your healing. Take your healing. Be set free. Be set free from every sickness and disease. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Like I said earlier, that healing is children's bread. Do you desire healing? Because the healing virtue is still very present. It's still very present at this moment. It's still very present forever. Because as the Lord, as Jesus lived, it, he will continually heal. He will continually save. And he will continually deliver. Do you desire healing? Do you desire healing in your body? Do you desire healing in your life? Do you desire in healing in your family? You need to come to Christ. You need to make that decision to come to Jesus. So you can be made all completely. So your life can have a new turn. So God can clean up. Jesus can clean up your bruise and heal it completely. All you need to do is say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Say, Lord Jesus, with every intent of your life, with every intent in your heart, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Let him come into your life and let him heal you completely. Hallelujah. If you have given your life to Christ today, send me an email. Send me an email. Send me an email. At the book of messages at gmail.com. Send me an email. The book of messages at gmail.com. I would love to hear your salvation testimony. I would love to pray with you. I would love to follow up more with you in your, in your Christian work. By the help of the Holy Spirit. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for opening your heart to the healing ministry of Jesus. And I am sure, I am sure, without any iota of doubt, that you are healed in Jesus' mighty, matchless name. Amen and amen. It is my prayer that you encounter Akivishori. Akivishori means the good doer. And it is taken from the book of Acts 10, 38. God, Jesus went about to do good because God was with him. So Akivishori means the good doer. It goes about to do good. And it is my prayer that you continually encounter him in Jesus' mighty, matchless name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you so much for listening. And thank you for accepting Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bye for now.